Welcome back, humans! You know what day it is. My name is Jaime. I'm ready to vent, and so I'm going to get started right away. Humans, the president's got to be a little pissed off. You know, that's why we call him Project 46. Didn't originate the name, but damn it, do I use it enough, and I really like it. I should, I should originate it. <laughs> should be the originator and the creator. No, but I'm not. But anyways, man, this guy keeps lying. Like, I'm sick of these lies. I'm sick of this dude's lying and being allowed to lie. But if we go over here and try to make a joke, which, you know, jokes aren't always true. Or sometimes jokes are true. They're just like a little potent and they make you laugh anyways. But people don't like when you tell the truth. I mean, people like it when you tell the truth. But these dudes don't like it when you tell the truth. And this guy's over here avoiding the truth all the time. We need to kill this stupid spending bill, by the way. We gotta, uh, Hopefully this shit don't go through because shit is crazy. I'll get into that in a second. Like and subscribe. But anyways. Everything's, he's saying like they got a report, the inflation report. And the dude's in an interview and he says that everything's fine. The, re the, the report in inflation is good. That this is a good thing. What? Everything costs a fucking lot. Again, like why is everything, all the prices went up. It was like um, five point something percent at first, like 5.4%. Now it's like higher than that. I think it's up to 6.8% on like just food or some shit. And like gas went up, food went up, utilities went up, everything went up. And this dude was trying to say that this is a good thing. This is supposed to be a good thing? How is this a good thing? Humans, how is this a good thing? And then they went and raised wages, which we already knew was the red flag when they were so willing to do it because you knew it was a trap. You always know it's in the trap when, it, when it's like, oh, we're going to do that. Because it's a stupid numbers game. We need to play the numbers game before we come up with our own ideas. Because they got, they got their numbers ready and tight. They're tight and tight, tight like a tiger. You know what I'm saying? Back like in uh, the Goldfink or what's it called? The Austin Power shit. Tight like a tiger. Fucking Goldfinger. Gold member. <laughs> But everything gone up, man, and these guys trying to say that it's that it's not going up, that everything's starting to go down. I think gas went down like two cents, like, and then it's like back up again. It went back up like a cent and a half. <laughs> it went down two cents. It went up like a cent and a half or some shit. And then they say he's over here trying to like beg oil companies. Why'd you shut other fucking oil companies down? You know what I'm saying? For the first first of all, what the hell happened? You like more than double the gas prices. I think you double the gas prices. Sheesh. Sheesh kebab. This is crazy, man. And he's saying this is good. Humans, do you think this is good? I don't think this is good. <laughs> he said also that he brought us back from like a really bad economy. He said that we brought it. This is another lie. Like, this is another one. Like, man. Okay. Not only does he just make up crazy ass stories, like he does like he's crazy, heroic, like tremendous things. He like, man, like when he said he fucking got arrested going to see Mandela that one time, like I got arrested going to see Mandela. You know, he said like, they arrested me and he thanked me for being arrested. Come on, man. You know, and then they said, uh, no, you didn't do that. And he goes, no, the police actually just stopped me from walking and they told me to stand here. That's what really happened. I don't mean I didn't mean arrested that way. So that's what, so that was a lie too, but let me get back to this shit. <laughs> he said he brought us back from a really bad economy. So when, before he was president, like, I guess our economy was really bad. Why did it not feel like it was really bad? That's my question, humans. Why did it not feel like it was really bad, even though we had this other crazy dude in office? That dude was just as crazy. But he was like, um, I mean, the economy, I don't think, was the was doing this. Was it? I don't know. But they raised minimum wages. But like I said, we knew it was a red flag. But then they fucking raised the food cost higher than the fucking 
everything went up higher than just like like what do you call it? Uh, it pretty much like makes it like voids it out. Basically, it makes it like not even fucking and doesn't even make it a factor when everything else costs more now. It would have been very beneficial if stuff was where it was and everybody would have been able to, you know, benefit from the the higher wages. But no, you're going to raise the wages and now everything else goes and gets inflated. They put it up with, you know, fill it up with air. But he said we he recovered. We recovered. He's recovering us from the word like a really bad economy. I'm having trouble like believing this because it didn't seem that way. It didn't seem that way to me, humans. And I don't want to be like I know what I'm talking about. But as far as in my world, it did not seem like to me, like in my own personal world, you know, not like saying like in the whole world, like it just did not seem like it was this bad, you know, when the other guy, the other crazy dude was there, the accordion guy, you know, the accordion dude. Who said he's running again to be more crazier? We got to watch out for that one because it's going to be a doozy. That's going to be interesting. When he does run again, it's going to be really interesting because they trashed the shit out of him when he was in office, like towards the end of his, like, you know, they were just like everything just, you know, you were just getting bashed. And this guy over here is just like slipping mentally, shit himself in front of the fucking, the Duchess, you know, did all this crazy shit, you know, you know, farted in front of her. But I mean, some people say that he did more than just fart. You know, he was answering questions, making cornholio fists. He's forgetting shit, making up all these weird stories that aren't true. And yet nobody's saying like anything bad. Like the media, like it's coming out now that the media is being pressured to say these positive things about our economy that aren't actually um, accurate. And it's been coming out more and more. Like this is pretty messed up, you know, and that's why they say that another thing too. That's why the media isn't outspoken on, on negativity against Mr. Gates because he, you know, throws a lot of money at all the media outlets. There was lists, man, of like every major outlet. I don't even know them all, but if you say one, it's probably on that list because it was just like hundreds of them. Like all the media outlets is getting hundreds of million dollars from Mr. Gates, you know, and, and this dude too, like he just doesn't get no bad talk. But when this dude runs again, they're going to just start flooding the fucking crazy headlines on this guy the closer he gets because we're only year one of this crazy circus. We're in year one of this crazy circus, and I don't really like this shit, man. I want, like, my refund. Um, or, like, in, you know when they say, like, we had this Mandela effect? You know, why don't CERN hook us up? Like, if it was because CERN fucking split our fucking re- uh, universe, which was crazy enough when, you know, my man, the other guy everybody thought was never going to be president. My man became president, you know. So we need them to redo it again, you know, go back to, like, 12 months. <laughs> it's kind of tr- it's kind of crazy so you know like i said um you just got to be careful because i i don't even know what to do anymore these guys are just going bananas the, they're saying that we had the worst economy before this guy was here and if crazy ass trump does run again there's a lot of crazy conspiracies going on about this dude and i'm sure you've heard about the book um the Adventures of Baron Trump. There's like this old ass book. Everybody's got, you know, all these new TikTokers are trying to get onto this thing that's been going on for a long time. You know, but um, it's about this kid named Baron Trump, which is the same name as Donald Trump's kid, you know, which is kind of wild. And this kid, you know, is a time traveler. And, you know, and it's crazy because he describes, you know, a guy named uh, the guy who like his mentor is or the one who, you know, is, you know, something like that. His name is Don. And it gets all even weird. And then this guy, you know, you know, becomes president or king or something like that. And there's this book called The Last President. It's like the continuation of this book, I guess. And it's about this guy, you know, Trump. And uh, he becomes a leader and this, that, with another guy with the last name Pence, which was even weirder. It was all this weird coincidental shit in this book. And it's like these two weird, you know, fictional books about time travel. And then uh, the one was called The Last President. So the reason I bring it up and how creepy this shit could be, like if conspiracies, like all these conspiracies are just, like I said, they're just super awesome, entertaining. And you know that uh, not all of them ever become true, but a bunch of them do end up being true. But if those like super wild, like super crazy, far-fetched ones that are like, you know, Project Blue Beam and like all these weird, I mean, that's a real name of the project, but I mean, real fucking shit starts happening with like holograms, all that crazy crap. 
a lot of people like me and other people that watch those videos are going to be like experts. Y'all going to be coming up to us for like information. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but let's say, um, let's say this book here, this fictional book was written by somebody and put it in a fictional section because the chime traveler himself, you know, went back and, um, you know, wrote these stories down and they made it into this book back then. Because someone had experienced this crazy and this crazy um, experience with this young man who was a time traveler, and um, so then the the continuation book is called the Last President, and you see how it looks like what looks like they're trying to destroy our country right now. Whoever's in charge or whoever's behind the scenes or like I spoke before, whoever's behind the curtains is trying to like destroy like our country. Something's going on here. Like something's weird. Like. They're like breaking, they're like taking all the like support beams and shit all around us and shit. It's kind of weird. You know, it's, it feels like that's kind of happening, right? So then let's say like we're like on this unstabil- unstable, crazy, chaotic, you know, four-year presidential administration where everything's turning into like what people are now saying, you know, the socialism and all this crazy things, you know, and um, or like what, you know, some crazier things, you know, like they're saying like, you know, like in Nazi times. And so it's like, I'm not saying it, but this is what they're saying, you know, like, so, you know, society gets all, you know, crazy, unstable riots and, you know, crazy, just stuff everywhere. Just nobody, you know, you know, it's just chaos every day. And then he comes back, like my man gets, comes back as the president, right? And then all of a sudden, like, everybody's afraid of what happens. This is only my own scenario, humans. This isn't, this is a fictional scenario. So I'm just saying. So then everybody's afraid after this time to see what happens to the next people that want to like, you know, come in office and try to break us all apart again after he's trying to, you know, mend it all and Humpty Dumpty it back together again. And um, so then they look at he's going to automatically get the two terms probably if he does a good job again when he gets back. If he's probably going to still be talking crazy bananas and doing the accordion hands. But then, like I say, he fixes shit in the first four years, or stuff's just start getting mended back, right? They're automatically is going to give him that layup, you know, to the second term. So then you see all these other crazy um, political groups and those uh, anti-militia groups and, you know, the, all those initial groups that are out there starting trouble and, you know, all these people out there causing havoc in the streets, right? So towards the second term of this guy, what if everybody is afraid of what's going to happen next and he does become the last president, humans? What What if if that that shit happens? happens? I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I'm, I didn't think I was ready for the lockdown. I didn't think I was ready for all this. Nobody would talk about like this kind of shit. We was all worried about aliens and flying cars and shit and teleporting, you know, all that kind of shit. But no, nobody was thinking about this kind of stuff. So that's all I'm saying. If this stuff was really happening, holy, holy gajillion bananas, you know? Damn, humans. Let's buckle up because this is going to be a crazy, crazy ride. Let's just buckle up and, and hold on. I know it's just a crazy scenario, but with all this crazy stuff has been happening now, like, whoa. You know, let's just say, whoa. There's all kinds of crazy new discoveries going on. It's blowing my mind, but the news ain't a lot of talk about them right now because, you know, the stuff that's happening right now, some of this stuff is like rewriting history. There's a lot of archaeological discoveries. You know, Indiana Jones is out there. They all don't got whips, but they all got, you know, glasses and brushes and they're finding shit everywhere. All this stuff that's leading to like ancient, ancient civilizations that are super advanced and we're all like looking dumb to these people. We can't even make nothing as long that lasts as long as these people. We do, we just like removed into a bunch of it, like half these buildings on this country. Don't let them fool you. There's a bunch of these buildings that were like, they just been here. And we just like went back in them. I know we built some, but we didn't build them all. <laughs> but like I said, we're on, we're in some danger right now. Stuff is like super unstable. Like the Constitution is like constantly under attack right now on a daily basis. You would think maybe they get the weekends off and everything. No, like the Constitution is just like, yo, man, it was like the old factory I used to work for. And you just didn't never get a day off. You just work seven days a week all the damn time. 
you know, and you earned vacation time there and you took a time off and it would look like you just like hurt the company's feelings, like your bosses or whatever, just be like, oh, I see you got some vacation time planned. Hmm. Hmm. And they would just look at you like, you know, they just don't need, I'm like, wow, man, they try to make you all guilty to take a vacation. But anyways, the Constitution is under fucking attack on a daily basis. Like a 24-7 factory. You know, it's just going on. Every shift is going 24-7. Every shift, no breaks. It's just going after this fucking, you know. And like the blood's in the water now. You know, like media's trying to jump on this shit. You got people from The View, like Joy Behar, talking about, we should retweak the Constitution. You need to leave the Constitution alone, first of all. They're already messing with the Constitution. There's all kinds of shit that the Constitution is doing. It was made to control the government. You know, the government's supposed to be working for us. And for some reason, we're listening to these damn fools. And not only these damn fools, these damn super old fools. Not only the damn fools, they're super old fools. We got to listen to these super old fools. It's messed up. But she's like saying we got to retweak the Constitution. That's going to be the phrase that you're going to start hearing all over the news. We should retweak, retweak, retweak. They're going to say retweak. You know what I'm saying? They're going to like hypnotize and brainwash all these people that already get brainwashed. And that's how everybody gets separated, like I said before, in that battleship grid. Once those words start hitting the battleship grid, oh my gosh. You know, not only are we going to worry about masks and no mask and you got the shot, you didn't get the shot. You're this initial, you're this initial, you're this, you're that, you're this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're left, right, up, down, you know, diet, you're fucking the Contra code, basically. This is going to be even more shit. <laughs> but the media always, you know, like I said, the media always lies, man. You don't even know, like, and we shouldn't even be surprised by this. We shouldn't even be surprised the way the fucking media lies. We, it shouldn't be no fucking at all, like, no fucking surprise at all. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just crazy how they fucking lie. There's, there's like, I mean, it just like, listen to this fucking dude. Like, this is why the media is always paid for. This is how you know the fucking media is bought and paid for. Listen to this fucking bullshit. Like, that's always in our fucking news now. Like, you should already know this is, if this ain't idiocracy and like in, 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 um, uh, in for real time, I don't know what is. Listen to this fool. signs, the housing and apartment shortages, the tremendous demand for goods and services, a marvel to behold. Oh, people are confident about their jobs. I say it in passing. And the ability to even get better ones if they want to. They're spending more than I've ever seen, but they're doing it with cash, not on credit. They're doing so in a roaring 20s style. So, that's what the fuck this dude is saying, that we're fucking doing all this fucking, with, uh, with everything costing as much as it fucking is, they're saying that kind of shit on the news. This is the best economy he's ever seen. The media's a bunch of lying motherfucking people, man. And I can't stand it. Like, it's hard. It's so hard, like, sometimes when you're watching shows, you got to pre-record things. Like, like I said, I'm a cable person, because but my cable's got all my streamers anyways. And some people have as many, and they're going to be like, oh, cables, this and that. You know what? Y'all have, like, so many, some people have so many streamers. Y'all are paying more than my cable bill. Ten bucks here, twelve bucks there. You know, here, here, fucking uh, whatever. You know, <laughs> here a dollar, here a buck, everywhere a buck, buck. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is, I'm not. You know, I'm not knocking nobody's. You know, viewing pleasures. But I watch TV different than other people. I like to have those channels that I can flick through. <laughs> but anyways you can't believe these people never you you know you just shouldn't be surprised the way they fucking lie to you all the time like when i was growing up as a kid like some of you kids don't even know like some of you younger generations out there you don't have no clue like of the things that we we saw growing up as like you know and me as a little kid going to the grocery store like with my mom and shit like i'd be with my mom at the grocery store in this line you know, and, and kids would still get their asses whooped in the store. I don't know how often, it, I don't see it happen too often now, you know. Even though it should happen more because, you know, more parents would probably get away with it when the security camera's like, oh, she had a mask on. So she just whooped the kid's ass and didn't see shit, you know. some And the grocery store I go to, they it says you don't have to wear a mask. But then when you go in there, they're still playing the recording like you have to wear it. 
I don't understand. It's like, and then I'm looking at everybody like, shit, should I have it on? And then everybody looks at each other every time the thing comes on. It's like a weird fucking like, you know, it's like a social experiment or something. It's like, we recommend it. And they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, nobody has one on in here. And everybody kind of does that look around. Like, were we supposed to have one? You know, everybody did one of those. But back in the day, going to the grocery stores with my moms, little kid, little youngster, way back when, you know, <laughs> way back when. But anyways, I'd be in the long line at the store and you would see things in line like you see all the headlines and tabloids, right? From the National Enquirer, like I said, you would see all these banana stories in there to things that would just blow your mind. Like it was a magazine called, um, I think it was like World News. Excuse me. It would say like news really big. It was like worldwide news or world news or something like that. And this shit was like the Enquirer. It would have the most craziest fucking stories like you would ever see. And this was my experience as a little kid in the grocery store. This is why we didn't need the iPad or the tablet or the cell phone in the fucking lines at a store because I had this shit to look at. And you would fucking the first fucking words you would read was going to catch your fucking eyes right off the bat. All right. Like, for instance, you know, I'm going to share some with you for people that are also out there that never had experienced this in the grocery line. Because now you just see about everybody's divorced and everybody's this and somebody's addicted and somebody's this, you know, and here's how do you cook. And here's the TV. I don't even know if they have the TV guy in that line. I got to pay attention. Is the TV guy still out there? Man, my mom used to love that TV guy. The crossword puzzles in that thing. And she would just watch whatever, you know, look for whatever her fucking shows was. You know, y'all done, y'all done missed out. <laughs> Y'all done missed out. So here's one I'm going to show you what I used to read when I was sitting. I would just be like in the grocery store waiting to get in line with everybody's full ass carts getting groceries, right? Here we go. Headline you would read right in the bat. You know, you're, you're feeling a little antsy as a young kid. You know, you're going to get, you know, going to get crazy or, you know, your mom's going to fucking ready, you know, check you right in line. So, you know, you're getting antsy all of a sudden. You look across, you see the magazine, and what does the headline say? Chimp's head put on human body. Bam! You're already locked right in the grocery. You know what I'm saying? You ain't saying shit to your mom. You're climbing on the grocery store cart, trying to fucking look at the fucking cart, letting your mom go past. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're throwing groceries out of the way for it and storing on a cart just so you can fucking keep reading the front line. You didn't even, you didn't even grab the book yet to open it. You know, you just saw, that's all you saw was right there. Fucking chimp's head put on human body. Half man, half ape. Doing fine after shocking surgery. You know, shocking head replacement. You know, he would just, that's what you saw right off the fucking bat. Or he would see crazy ass shit, like on the same cover, incredible lettuce seed diet. I don't even fucking know what a lettuce seed looks like, but I do, I do garden. But I better fucking check out what a lettuce seed is. How are you going to get full on a fucking lettuce seed? But whatever, I would see that shit at the grocery store. And here's another one. You know, I'll let this one speak for itself. But I can't because this was crazy because I'd be, like I said, you'd be in that little anti young kid stage where you know you're going to fucking want to run or you want to do something or you want to, you, you're going to cause something because it's that little, it's our energy. We just can't stop it. We're children, you know? And we didn't have the cell phones growing up like some of you guys, some of you young kids today. So we were like really, you know, anxious and ready to do things. You know, we were, we ride our bikes everywhere, do this everywhere, you know, go everywhere. You know, call our friends from yelling out in the front yard, you know, if their window was towards the alley, like, yo, what up? You know, let's go do it. You know what I'm saying? You would fucking, you know, we was old school. So we had energy. We didn't have the tool in our hand. So we just looked around and, you know, stuff was going to have to stimulate. And here we go again. I was big. I was Bigfoot's love slave. Locked me right in while my mom's getting the grocery stores. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't messing up. I ain't disrespecting. I ain't disrespect. I ain't disrespect. I ain't disrupting. No rhythm of the grocery shopping because I'm reading that fucking book. You know, I'm just saying lumberjack story of, for, of forbidden love will amaze you. You wanted to read the hell out of that book. You didn't say a word to your mom. You grab that book and just be like, man, you was like an angel. Your mom thought you was an angel when you was at the grocery store when you was around my age when you was a young kid because you had shit like this. You didn't need the iPad or the tablet. It wasn't a, nobody gave a fuck about the Kardashians, you know. Their dad was still a lawyer. OJ didn't kill his kill his wife yet, and she was just fucking normal. <laughs> there was other crazy serial killers and things going on. But that was like the you know the eighties and shit. <laughs> and 
And here's another one. Just when you want to, you know, it's getting close to Halloween. You're at the grocery store. You're getting a little antsy again. And then here you go. Satan escapes from hell. 13 Mexican oil rig wrecker, oil rig workers killed when the devil roars out of the well. And he was like, that's enough. You know, y'all just fucked up my fucking rug. You know, he's like, get off my lawn. And he came out and he's like, y'all are in trouble now. You know, and that's the shit I would see as a kid. And then I wouldn't even have to worry about it. I wouldn't even fucking, my mom didn't have to worry about me until I got to that, once I got to the magazines. Once that magazine, dude, you were locked in. You were locked in. It was like fucking 14 to choose from, too. It was even crazier as hell, you know? Like, Brooke Shields has a fake face, you know? And it's like, what the hell? And it would just pull you right in the line. Check this shit out. You know, like I said, I'd be chilling. You know, like I said, being a crazy kid, balled up energy, ready to go crazy. My mom ready to hit me with the chocolate like Clint Eastwood style, you know, to calm my ass down. But it didn't always happen because I would read a fucking book on a fucking headline like this. Man's 174 mile per hour sneeze blows wife's hair off. And she's got like a fucking nine head. You know, she's got a nine head because of a man's sneeze. Are you buying that shit? I don't know. But, you know, when you're a little kid, shit locked you in at the store. I was locked in, and I didn't get chocolate. I didn't get the chocolate Clint Eastwood style. <laughs> didn't happen, because I had the stuff like this. I didn't need the cell phone, because there's so much shit on the cell phone hitting you all at once. It's just like you're just over fucking stimulated. This was like one right now. We're like, pow, so it just like locked you in, you know, like a good book. Although this was just some crazy shit, you know, <laughs> this was some craziness. So I'm sitting here at the grocery store again, young kid. And here's another one. Little baby parts Lake Michigan. You know, and I'm, I'm going to lock, I'm going to grab that book really quick. Weekly World News. All new episode. The baby comes through and parts, world, <laughs> parts Lake Michigan. Is he the new Messiah? You know, and I'm like, holy shit, Jesus is back. You know, because back then I was like, damn, the little baby part the lake. You know, I wonder if he caught some good fish. Sheesh. Or you would see those ones in the news too. They would always have like prophecies with being like every episode. Look at end time prophecies. And you would see like the things the government doesn't want you to know. Which psh, there's all kinds of stuff they don't want you to know. But man, the Antichrist is alive and living in the United States of America. You know, there's like a 160 degree heat wave kills millions in 1998. That's bananas. A tidal wave levels New York City in 1999. These are all like predictions that didn't happen, obviously. <laughs> That's crazy. Iraqi terrorists relieved deadly nerve gas, killing millions. Damn, something like that did happen. But shit, you know, shocking, you know, shocking new proof of life after death. 2,000 get messages from beyond. These were all on this, you know, all of these crazy headlines, like I said, when I was a kid. And you just couldn't, you know, not stop watching these things. I mean, you could just not stop doing it. And I got one more for y'all, man. I couldn't help it. Like I said, I was excited. Like, this is bringing me back, you know. Hackers can turn your computer into a bomb and blow your family to smithereens. Those were the exact words in this article, humans. How are you not as a kid? Like I said, you're, even if you have a cell phone and you just eyes glanced up, it's going to break that, you know, connection to you and that stupid ass machine. And you're going to just like, look at it. You're going to be like, damn, what is this? Excuse me. So this one, you know, investigator says sickles can wreak death from dis and destruction from thousands of miles away. And now it's just like, you know, all they do is talk about all the perverts and shit. You know, not about those hackers that can make your fucking house explode. All these fucking magazines were probably like all the movies that came out, you know, today. But those are things that I seen as a kid, man. And, you know, I didn't need a cell phone. Those things would lock me in sometimes, you know, and, and it was before. And then when they started taking those books away, those books away, those magazines and headlines away, kids they needed something else and they knew it. So they had like everything set up, you know, in a, in a little like they had it all like in a notch, like next level, next level, next level. Here what we do in the game. So you can't, you know, like I said, you can't trust the media because the media was allowing those magazines to be on a magazine rack 
at grocery stores where people be shopping with children. You know, of people, humans of all ages are at the grocery store looking at all these magazines, you know, and just tripping out. You know, like Prince Diana's still alive. You know, like I said, uh, Brooke Shields, you know, changes her face four times. It's just bananas. <laughs> you don't even know what to do. But the media would have used to allow that stuff. So it doesn't surprise me now with the with the lies that they put out to all of us humans today. I was around pre-internet, you know what I mean? So it was like, I've seen a lot, you know. It's kind of crazy, humans. It's kind of crazy. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you would hit me with a like and subscription and turn on those notifications because I'm here twice a week. My name is Jaime, and this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya! Oh, yes, yes, y'all.